Hey guys, Ron here, and once again I brought on various Pokemon experts for a friendly trivia competition. And like the first time, each team will get a completely separate set of questions. On one team we have Loxon and I, who are known for our Pokemon origins and general Pokemon facts content, uh, but we know nothing about competitive Pokemon battling, so we will be asked by the other team Pokemon battling questions. And on the other team we have Wolfie VGC and Pokeaim MD, experts in the metagame. But they know relatively nothing about Pokemon origins and lore, so Loxon and I are going to ask them Pokemon trivia questions. Now, this was an absolute blast the last time, so are you three ready for another round? I'm ready. Yep. <laughs> Always. Um, Alright, so I guess it's I'll start and I'll ask the other team a question. Very fair question first. What do the three late guardian Pokemon represent? Alright, Wolf. What do the three Lake Guardians do? One of them is wisdom, one of them is knowledge, and one of them is is power? bad. Is like 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 meditation in between. <laughs> no, wait. Which one is Uxi? Is Uxi's knowledge right? Okay, I thought Uxi was sleep. Uh, okay, so Uxi's knowledge that makes sense. Okay. Uh, as of maybe Mesprit's balance. I thought one of them was power. Is one of them not power? I thought it was power, what wisdom, is, knowledge. Wouldn't as was that, wouldn't as be power? Because I thought as was one. power and Mesprit was wisdom. But isn't yeah. knowledge power? Wait, isn't knowledge and wisdom the same thing? Or I guess yes. Not. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's using them. Let's I shouldn't do, do let's, that. Let's do. Let's do power. Well, he said wisdom, knowledge, power. So now I'm not sure what to think at all. No, but, no it's just you know the saying. Oh, uh, okay. Is that, wait, is that if that's the saying? Then do you want to go with that one, or do you want to go? Because I feel like Mesprit's balance. You want to say Mesprit balance as of power Uxi no, or uh, Uxi knowledge? Yeah, I feel like that's close because Mesper is definitely the balance between the two. What's the actual saying? Because Ron said the same before, so we want to just say. What I Ron said the said? saying is just a saying. It doesn't have anything to do with the Pokemon. He just said power is knowledge, or knowledge is power, which is just a saying. No, no, I don't think no, it's oh, I thought he said knowledge, wisdom, power. I was like, oh, okay, cool. No, um, why would I, I tell you the answer? <laughs> all right, Joe, you, you can lock it in. Whatever you think is. I, I, I'm, um, do you think? Do you think balance? Do you think it's balance? Just like, let's. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool with balance. Okay. Uh, well, then I guess knowledge. I was about to say knowledge, wisdom. power, and balance. Knowledge, is our, is power, our uh, power, balance. Nope. No. You only got one. <laughs> wow. It's knowledge, right? Yeah, knowledge yeah. is seems to be the one people know for some reason. Um, it's knowledge, which is Yuxi, emotion, which is oh, Mesprit. Oh yeah. And willpower, which is Azelf. I, I think I think that's one point five. I'm gonna be honest with you. What? <laughs> Willpower is you power. Got three. I got just half, because, I got, I got just because he didn't willpower. know Power's name doesn't mean that we shouldn't get it. Name one of the two ways that Dark Void was nerfed going into Generation Seven. Okay, well, first we have to make sure we know what Dark Void does. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> oh, this Dark is going Void. great already. I love it. <laughs> Wait, is Dark Void Dark Rider related, or is this just is it a normal move? Is it a move or is it an ability? Oh, is it an ability? Oh, is Dark Void the one where? If it's if there's a sleep, if they're asleep, then just they lose power. Is that an ability? What's the Dark Rise ability? Is it the is it that move where it puts multiple Pokemon to sleep? I don't know why it would be even called Dark Void. Because Dark Rise all dark and spooky. Mm. If it is me. the move I'm thinking of, where it puts multiple Pokemon to sleep. I assume if they wanted to nerf it, they uh, would this make has it to be like a powerful move. I'm telling you, less accurate. Ooh. I mean, honestly, even if we didn't know what it was, maybe just yeah, less accuracy could be a nerf. Well, either a nerf either less accuracy or like a less chance of making them fall asleep. <laughs> that sounds like accuracy to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got actually yeah though. <laughs> um, Knowledge is wisdom. Well, then I can't think of a way to nerf an ability if it was an ability, so I'm just gonna, yeah, it's, it's a move. Well, I, either way, it, it, no matter which of those two it is, accuracy uh, reducing accuracy is a thing that it could That's be That's definitely the safest reduced. path. So, okay, we'll say reduce, uh, reduce accuracy. That's correct. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So, a little bit of backstory is, I'm very happy you don't even know what this is, because it was like <laughs> the bane of competitive Pokemon. Darkrai was never legal, but Smeargle is the other nerf. Smeargle was using an 85% accurate move that put both of your Pokemon to sleep. And it was like, and it had Moody, which was randomly altering like altering its stats. So players would like protect turn one with their smear goal, get plus two speed, and then Dark Void put all your Pokemon to sleep and you couldn't do anything, because in VGC there's no sleep clause. So they made it so that it's like one of the only moves or the only move that Smear Girl can no longer learn. Um and also 80, they lowered 80%. the accuracy. Sorry, it was it was 80% accurate. Yeah. Uh, 80? Is it not 85? 
Yeah, it was 80. It yeah, and then we're just going to be 50. So, yeah, it's completely unusable now, pretty much. Sounds like a very rude move. Mm, it was yeah, awful. Yeah. It was very, very bad. What is the only Pokemon able to evolve twice at level 1? That's good. So it needs a stone, right? Do you know this one, Joey? Yeah, it would have to be, what, like a stone and then... Another. Oh, is it, is, is it, is it Porygon? Because Porygon oh, evolved. yeah, you're right. Porygon yeah, yeah, 2 yeah. and a Porygon Z. Because it's upgraded and then upgrade version yeah. 2. Up upgrade and upgrade 2. Yeah, or Dubious Disc or whatever it's called. No, it's upgrade 2, Joey. Come on. Don't is it actually called upgrade 2? <laughs> Wouldn't upgrade 2 evolve you into Porygon 2 and not Porygon Z? Wouldn't it yeah, be upgrade, upgrade Z? Yeah, you use the upgrade to get the Porygon and then you use upgrade 2 to get Porygon uh, 2. Wait, and no, use no, no. Box seems here. It'd be upgrade Z. Upgrade Z, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I'm not British. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, your it's name is Loxton. You're it kind of sounds like something. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, let's lock the Porygon. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah! Uh, nice job, But Jay. it is, it's I, the dubious disc, it's not Upgrade 2. I, I know, yeah, I, I, know, I, know, I, know I just wanted to make Joey mad. I said Upgrade 2. <laughs> <laughs> if Upgrade's so good, why isn't there Upgrade 2? <laughs> <laughs> this is not that hard. Um, this, is, this is medium, easy, easy medium. Uh, in what generation was Knockoff buffed? Knockoff received a buff in a certain generation. I'm not asking you what that buff was, mm. but in what generation was the move Knockoff buffed? Probably wasn't buffed until it became a problem in a certain gen or something. Like maybe there was a specific gen where like, oh, items everywhere <laughs> or something. Or wait, the opposite. Or no, no. whatever, whatever. <laughs> My, my gut wants to say four or five. I don't know if I can specify it more than that, though. Maybe what the buff is makes sense according to the generation. Maybe because they introduced fairy types. They're like, hey, let's give dark types a little something. <laughs> so they did it in oh, Gen I 6. I could see that. I think also Gen 5 too, because just dark types were a problem in Gen 5, I'm assuming. And that's also why they would introduce uh, fairy types. In my head, I'm thinking a lot of... Uh, like scrafty kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking High Dragon. Um, do you want to say Gen Five? I'd I'd be confident in that. All right, we'll say Gen with, with a tentative Gen Six, but yeah, uh, but for our pride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so it was actually Gen Six. You were close. Oh. Uh, knockoff was in Gen Three, by the way. Um, and oh, it used to be, I think, like 20 base power. They made it 65 in Gen Six when they made Dark types broken. Oh. Uh, so dark types basically, uh, they made fairy types. They were like, oh yeah, let's make dark types even better uh, for a million no resist. Same thing with ghost types. And knockoff went uh, to 65 base power. And are we gonna ask them? I I'm not gonna ask them the other question because there's no yeah. point. But when you knock off an item, not only did it go to 65 base power, but when you knock off an item, it goes to 97 base power. Uh, that move or 97.5, really? but it rounds oh, down yeah. in Pokemon. So which one yeah. technically? Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, this could be easy again. Like you guys may know random things, like just outside of Pokemon, that can contribute to answering these questions. What fighting styles are both uh, are throw and sock based on? And this is two separate styles. Burton, Ernie. Well, throwing and socking. Uh, like, uh, I the think sock one of sock and boppers. Names of two martial arts. I think it's okay. Joy, one, do you one is any definitely equation? judo. Ju throwing, throwing is judo. Well, judo is grappling, so I don't know if it's considered throwing as well. It's not I sumo, did, right? It, would it be? I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and we did a lot of grabbing and throwing. My instinct was Jiu Jitsu and karate. I thought I thought I thought throw was Jiu Jitsu and I thought sock was karate, but that I, that's very very like not based really on anything. I don't know why I have that impression. Well, you don't think sock would be karate because it's in a karate pose. Mm -hmm. Like he's in an attack stance, but then again, that's the basic for all Foul martial fighting, arts. Yeah. I've been watching the anime Jiu Jitsu and they've been punching a lot. It wasn't like I did Jiu Jitsu back in the day. But maybe Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is just a different version of it. So maybe Jiu-Jitsu and Judo? Because it's double J's? Okay, so let's do Jiu-Jitsu and Judo then. I, I feel you like... You do that and yeah. see what happens? Yeah, let's I feel like we're half. I feel like we're half right, and I think I led you I think it's Judo. I think it's... Um, so my, my personal guess is Karate and um, Jiu-Jitsu, but yeah, let's the walk in Jiu-Jitsu and Judo. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, you guys almost had it. <laughs> Oh, what is it? It is judo and karate. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, well, I couldn't decide between jiu jitsu. I was and really judo. sure it was it was karate, but yeah, I, I was. I mean, obviously not really sure. So. Sock, sock I, I think sock with karate made a lot of sense too, because like yeah. I said, the stance he made. But I, I really couldn't decide between the other two. Yeah, I, I, I think we had the we had the information. Yeah. We we were, we we didn't get the answer, but we uh, I'm feel good about that one. Yeah, I think we did okay. Yeah. Yeah, again, this is really not about who wins. <laughs> yeah. It's really just about... It's about you subscribing to our channels, please. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe in the future, give them a half point. Only if it, you know, thank if you, I feel bad you. for them. <laughs> <laughs> if we get really demolished. Pity us, please. It, exactly. Uh, in 2013, World's Top 4 against uh, Japan's Ryosuke Kosuge, 
This player missed a move so many times that it was buffed in the following generation. Tell me either who the player was or what the move was. <laughs> well, that's a good question in terms of being fair. Shout out to him as well. <laughs> Big shout out to him. Wait, wait, 2016, sorry. you said? 2013. 2013. Oh, 13. 13. It's, it's Generation 13. 5, right before X and Y. A Gen 5 move that became way more accurate. Because I have no idea who the player would be. <laughs> yeah, Unless it was you. <laughs> Unless it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch any Gen 5 VGC? No, definitely not. I started watching no. probably, yeah, X and Y. And I, I mean, here and there. <laughs> not even watching. No. Watching the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Amoongus. Well, I mean, I can, I can think of. A, I think I can remember some, you know, famous Gen Five BGC mons. Like I, I keep on thinking High Dragon was it Exedrill one. I don't know. Um, Landorus. Oh, Politoed. Oh, maybe it was like a rain, like a weather mood, a weather move. But ah, uh, no, no, no. It's the opposite. That it became worse. It got it became better because it was bad. Now it became worse because it was so good. Um. I'm trying to think. It, I mean, it's something that they, would, they they wouldn't rely on sing, so it's not sing. They wouldn't rely on. <laughs> so I'm thinking something like with 80. Why would you use a 60% accurate move, Wolf? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> you use that move a lot. Hypnosis? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> I did use a lot of moves in Gen 6. I mean, I use moves in every Gen, but like Gen 6, hmm. I remember just being annoyed by like something. It has, it's probably gonna be like a like a powder move or something. Like it's gonna be like a like a, a status move or like I'm gonna say sleep powder, honestly. Cool. The answer is Will O Wisp. Uh, it was buffed from seventy five percent to eighty five percent. The set is really remarkable. He misses like he gets like Thunder Wave confusion and misses like all of his Will O Wisps and Hydro Pump from Rotom W. Yep. It's like yep. very disheartening. But yeah, the, we don't know for sure if it caused the move to be buffed, but we do know that. Oh, it, it definitely. Did. Very, I mean, I have my own. I believe personally that it did. But it, yeah, it def. I mean, and also like the the hint that saying was Aaron. If you uh, been to Aaron's channel, uh, Run Wash is actually a signature Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> but, I mean, again, it helped the future of competitive because now I can hit my will o -Wisp because Aaron couldn't. Yeah. He walked so you could run. Yeah. Exactly. We stepped on him, so we could keep going. <laughs> in Gen 6 specifically, I do remember, for example, in uh, Oras in the Elite Four, like, uh, uh, Phoebe's, like, will o -Wisps kept on, like, hitting me. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is pretty accurate. So, ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> the 10% makes a big difference, I'm not gonna it lie. It does. So, Duogen, it's two brains in one. And Dodrio has three brains, right? Well, which non-legendary default Pokemon has the largest number of physical brains? Is it what, Executor? What's default? As in, like, not of some specific form. Yeah. Is it Executor? Yeah, Executor is three. They got a bunch of heads. Bro, I love how they named Dodrio. No, Dojin, if he said it was love. hard, there's no way it's Executor. You don't think Executor? Oh, Executor is three. I'm so dumb. Is it Execute? Is it Execute is five. I yeah, actually have a full one. Um, Dragon has. Uh, wait, Giraffrig has Giraffrig has two, right? Giraffrig has two. Yes, the okay. thing has a. It should have been part Dark type as well. It should evolve. I feel like it's a Psychic type. I think it's no. Psychic type with a bunch of. You think every single one of Mega Alakazam spoons has brains? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, we were thinking that one. Um, uh, <laughs> is five. There's got to be more. What about Metagross? Metagross is basically Beldum. Beldum is one brain. Matang is three brains because it's two Beldum with his arms and then the Matang in the middle. Wait, yeah. How many? Metag Metagross has five, right? Because of all the yeah. Beldums. But like with it, like on its own, like is there any, like like Phalanx is also five, right? Yeah. I, I would say so. It's gotta be something. No, more Phalanx than is six, dude. Phalanx is six. There's six Phalanxes. There's okay. six of them. I swear there is. What are they doing? They're just following <laughs> their guy. They're following the leader. Um, okay, it might be Phalanx. It might be Phalanx. What if each of the Tangles on Tangela? Oh, yeah, Tangela, Tangrowth. <laughs> All of Onishka's individual The rocks. thing is that he explicitly asked about brains, not heads, right? Which implies to me that, like, there's something with a brain and, like, it's foot, or, like, you know? Like, I really think it's gonna be, like, a rock-type Pokemon with, like, a bunch of brains in the rocks. You know, like, maybe all of Onyx is a little, like... That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if we just want to YOLO it, we can just say Phalanx, right? Like, Let's just say Phalanx. Let's say Phalanx. Alright, we say Phalanx. That's a really good guess. <laughs> we forgot about that, but it's not the answer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I actually forgot about Phalanx completely. <laughs> it is Barbarical. Okay, so That's I was so actually dumb. thinking of Barbar- I was actually thinking about that mod because Binnacle came to my head, but one, two, three, four, five- Wait, Barbarical only has, uh, five. The Pokedex says <laughs> that Barbarical is seven Binnacle. Barbarical's not a real Pokemon, I don't believe in it. <laughs> 
It's Public dumb. Public is a lie. And, and I, that and is I hate incredibly it. dumb. And also, it doesn't say it in Generation 7 or Generation 8. Wait, this thing is a Gen 6 mod, not Gen 5? Yes. Right? It looks like a Gen 5 Pokemon because it's so stupid. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let me look at Phalanx real quick. For as some bonus facts, um, Mega Metagross, if we did allow specific forms, Mega I Metagross has eight. What? I knew it! I knew it for the same reason I said, right? The Beldums? But if you wanted to get more specific with specific forms, school form Wishy Washy is like uh, 20 to 50 fish. We should have said Wishy Washy. <laughs> we could have thought of that. Uh, name four entry hazards. Oh, okay. I'm gonna write this down. We got toxic spikes. Regular spikes. We do got regular spikes. We got, what's uh, it called? Was Stone it Sticky edge. Web? That is definitely one. Stone Edge and Sticky Web. I mean, that's, that's right there. There's also case. Stealth Rock. Oh, I said Stone Edge, but I said, yeah, Stealth Rock. Oh, I was really hoping they submit Stone Edge. We'll <laughs> <laughs> no, we would have we would have repeated it again, so like, he would have caught it. Um, again, thank you, Lux. <laughs> um, I know what Stone Edge is, by the way, guys. <laughs> is Electro Web, like, its own <gasps> one, or is that a different move? Just let us know when you decide to. Yeah, when you lock your four, we'll Electro move. Electro web is a normal move, I think. Yeah. It okay. Slows then, you down. Then, then don't write one down. Down then. Is there like vines? I know that's an RPG thing. Like vines on the ground. They should. They should down. make it down. Yeah. Okay. We'll do stick. Okay. So, toxic spikes, spikes, stealth rock, and sticky web. We're good, Loxon. Yes, I like those four. Unless, are we talking about the name of the move or the name of the effect? Because aren't they We're talking different? Move. We're talking about the move, no? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna cut you off, that is correct. Those are four entry yeah, hazards. Cool. And the th cool. The, the thing, thing that people mostly would get confused is Sticky Web and Spider Web, which is a move that is like mean luck. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You overestimated us. I don't know what Spider Web is. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty niche. It's like what, the, Aridos' signature? Um, what town has Kurum supposedly terrorized? Joey, I haven't played Gen 5 since I was 15. It's the <laughs> one with it's it's the one where uh, uh, Iris is the gym leader or that dragon dude is the gym leader. The same person. It just depends on black and white, black and white too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, was it called Opalicid? No, I don't think it was called Opalis Opalicid. I've, I've I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll allow. Yeah, it's called Opalicid. You you said it right. That's the oh. name. Of the yeah. Nice job. No, I didn't know. That. I didn't say that's correct. You have oh. to say. You have to say. I you know lock it in. I'm just saying. Okay. Joey, I can't name a single town in Gen 5. Like, legitimately. I literally know what it looks like. I can draw it right now. And I can tell you the gym, but I do not ever remember. Whatever, you want to just go with that? Yeah, Joey, I can't name a single town in Gen 5, so I'm down. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I legitimately can't think of a single one. <laughs> I can tell. Look, so I know we're wrong. Uh, we're probably wrong, but at least the gym was pretty cool because it was the dragon and it lets you do all these things. Oh, is that the one where you like raise the head and like the wings yeah, and stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, that one was cool. So that's your final answer? Um, yeah. That's, oh, that's really, really close. No! And and honestly, in, in white... He did terrorize it! It does look the same. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying like, supposedly, not literally, we see it in the plot. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, there were no supposed that, that was No, 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 Kurum himself, because that wasn't Kurum, that was Team Plasma. <laughs> Using Kurum. Oh, yeah, with the laser. The answer is Lakunosa Town. It's the town near the <laughs> giant chasm that literally, for like, in, you know, their lore is that they had to build walls to fight from, to, to fend off or Kurum, basically. <laughs> Lakunosa town? town has an amazing theme. Is Lakunosa that the one that goes, dun, 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 I dun, have dun, no memory of that town. I mean, it's close. It's that. It's it's my favorite theme, honestly. <laughs> it's, I have a personal attachment to it. That's why I picked this question. <laughs> Alright, this is my hardest one, I think. It's not that hard, though. Which country won the first Pokemon World Championships, and which one won, won the most recent one? Which is 2019. <laughs> so, 2018 oh, so two World Championships? Answers? What's that? Two separate answers? Is that yeah, it could be the same or it could be different. Oh, okay, okay. But it's oh, two separate oh, people oh. for sure. Who won this year? Uh, <laughs> are we talking the? Uh, two thousand nine. I, I don't even know what the different ranks are called. Like junior, senior. We're talking, talking only about the, the masters division, which is the seniors division in two thousand eight. But only the oldest division. And to be clear, we're not talking about players' cup, which is like our current closest thing we have to the world championships. We're talking about two thousand nineteen world championships. Which oh, country? I gotcha. I, sure, I mean, I. Probably tweeted about it. <laughs> Why did I forget? I mean, Loxon, do you ever know like any of them? Uh, I watched the juniors <laughs> um, a couple years ago, and it was I think some Australian kid. Statistically, I would assume probably North America. The first Japan. one was I think the first one was Japan. I remember like there was literally in a probably. row like a lot of Japan, and it was like early on. I think yeah yeah. I remember like one time looking at that chart. Um, 
So I'm gonna say Japan and then I think I would have remembered if it was US this year though. I don't think it's US. That's true. Honestly, I pay more attention to the um, trading card game champion. Really? I never watched that. Honestly. <laughs> If it was U.S., we would have, like, known this guy. I'm, like, it was Brazil, the U.S., Japan, or Italy or something like that. It wasn't Australia. <laughs> Ron, like, slowly insulting everybody. Says, it wasn't you. He barely doesn't know how to play. Yeah, this is, this is you. I have no idea. Okay, I'm just going to say... Can we say Japan and Japan? Do you think that would be... Fi uh, Statistically, like, I think that is probably an okay thing to do. Let's do Japan and Japan. That's correct. Nice job. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! Statistics! Did they, did they dominate top 16 or something that year? Or was that 2000? Uh, 2019, no, it, not, it wasn't a domination. You're was that 17 or 18? 15. Or 16? 15. I'm sorry that me and like Loxton, uh, like coming up with answers is very just like statistics and math. So it's not as fun. <laughs> but like you I, guys, I, I like that you guys can work it out and like yeah, have some things to to like, go on. I tried to pick questions that like you could like it wouldn't be impossible for you. That to guess. was a hundred percent fair. Definitely like hard, but definitely hundred percent mm -hmm. fair. I'm yeah, I, just, I got to laugh because you said South America couldn't do it in Brazil. <laughs> no, I said no. I didn't Australia. say. I only said that for no, Australia. You said, you said Brazil like, could do it. I don't think people from Europe could get to finals. Like, <laughs> what did I say? This? <laughs> no, no. Yes, I, said, I said that if, if someone from Europe went to finals, you would have remembered it. That's I just would have remembered. Yeah, I interpreted that the way I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so during the time skip between Black and White and Black and White Two, half of the gym leaders stopped being gym leaders. What were their reasons? <laughs> Iris became champion. Uh, well, like, Iris became champion. Charon takes over, but who does he take over for? Same with. Oh, wait, no, but not Bianca. Uh, the other normal person. Was that the mom? No, that was the mom. No. Charon definitely took over, though, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Electric. Elect Electrica. The electric one. She's like. She, I guess, the, the runway one. Hang on. Jet 5's coming back to me. Bogus 2. Electric is 3. It's not. Her name isn't Electrica. It's, uh. It's Elisa. Like some, it's Elisa. Elisa. Is the first badge in that the wait? There's badge? the there's the wait. There's the poison rock one. The rock band. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That girl. Yeah. yeah. This is funny. It is. Um. Who are the leaders? Oh, G. Yeah. Duggers. <laughs> That's the Japanese version. That's the best um, version. It is better. Yes. <laughs> what's the What's the name of the lady that the normal type gym leader? Vanessa. Vanessa. Let From High School Musical? Because I swear she had Nora in her name. Nora? Was her name Nora? Norma. Norma? Could be a Norma. Norma. Whatever. Her name is Lenora. You, you can... If it's, it's close, close I'm not going to tell yeah. you. Yeah. But you have to... Again, it's the reasons that are important. Wait, not, it is the reasons! Her name was Lenora. That's the reason why she quit. Oh, I am sure. We're never going to get this. We can't even name the gym leaders. <laughs> even name them. I know Iris quit because Wait, she wanted to train more drag and she became the champion. Did, well, Laura had to leave, right? Because, like I said, uh... She went to be a runway model. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's Elisa. Uh, no, no, she went to go to go visit somebody, bro, and she just never came back, like Giovanni. Okay, one of them went to the... One of them went to Kanto. One of them went to track down... Wait, one of them goes with Looker. One of them goes to find Getsis. <laughs> Do you guys remember Looker? <laughs> one of them just gave up because N was their rival. The one entire them, game, and the N gave up. Them, one of them unfortunately got frozen during the Kirom incident. One of them never thought. All right, see, see, they all came together in a meeting and decided we're gonna have four different gym leaders. All right, why? Because I'm the boss and I decided that. Final answer. Hit him with the facts. Uh, so you were right about Iris. Iris went on to become the champion. Lenora was replaced by I already forgot his name, Sharon, because she wanted to retire and focus on running her museum. I said one of them wanted to retire. I get that one. Okay. You Bryson, get that one. You get that one. Here we get Iris. Bryson retired to return to his acting career. <laughs> and who's Bryson? And that's, oh, the, that's the, the, the karate. Yeah, the, uh, the the karate looking dude. Yeah. Wait, is that Pokestar Studios or is that Gen Six? That is. Gen <coughs> that's Pokestar Studios. Oh. Yeah, yeah he was the, game, he was well, the actor. I, yeah. Um, and then Salon Chili and Cress retired to focus on their training because they had shame from not helping much. The monkeys are the worst. I hate the monkeys. They are, I hate it when they gave it to me for free. Like, I don't and want no, this Pokemon. I don't want this. <laughs> yeah, like, right you feel there. guilty for boxing it. That's what sucks. Because they give it to you. I do not feel guilty. <laughs> Name two items that can avoid most entry hazards. 
So you name the four entry hazards, well, four out of five of the entry hazards before. What two most. items can help you avoid most entry hazards? Does the does the the balloon? It would make you stop touching the ground. Well, okay, balloon is yeah, it makes sense. So then that would be for spikes and toxic spikes. Yeah, it would or stop all you of from them. Those. Oh. Um, whatever. I'm also is is like something boots like steel boots for one of them. That would make sense. Like for spikes or something. It's like something boots. Oh, but that may just make them heavy. I think it, I think you're thinking of heavy boots. Heavy boots. Yeah, that just makes them heavy. Unless that's um, the Zelda item. No, heavy boots is a thing. Um, I think there's another boots. For, like spikes that makes sense honestly it's definitely some kind of shoe it really is like a boot um sorry i don't know how to help with that i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> air balloon and then boots um something boots schnitzel we can't say heavy boots is protector only for evolving right on i think so yeah all right um here's the problem uh it's definitely the boots thing I don't know the name of the boots. It's definitely like a name of like an actual thing, like a heavy duty, like a normal term. It's not like a made-up term. It's like a heavy duty boots or steel-toed boots. Steel-toed boots. Yeah, like that's what I'm thinking all the time. Construction like, boots. That's too long. Um, um, and it's not protector. Is there like a safety vest? Safety vest. That sounds like a thing. Safety vest. Like there's a lot of vests. It's not a salt vest. Safety vest sounds like a thing, and it sucks if it's gonna be the boot thing in the end. The safety vest definitely sounds like a thing. A hard hat. So air balloon and safety vest. You uh, actually said it, but yeah, you said uh, it multiple times. Yeah, air balloon and heavy duty boots. Um, no! I would have given it to you personally, but uh, heavy yeah. duty boots protects you from every hazard, by the way. Heavy duty. No, because is there heavy boots? Yeah. Nope. No. Oh, no. So what's the heavy thing? Thing? Hardstone? Or no, wait, what's the one that makes you It's happy? hardstone! Yeah. It's hardstone! No, hardstone, well, hardstone is, sand, is an item that right? busts rock types. Oh, so it's like some it. kind of stone. It's like heavy stone. There's like a lagging tail, and there's no, like... No, lagging tail speed. There's one that doubles your weight. Um, Macho brace. No, that will no, have your speed. There's one that doubles your weight. It's um, the one that doubles your weight, because... There's, and there's heavy metal, which doubles your weight, but it's an ability. Yeah, there's no item, I guess, that does it. I thought there was. Yeah, there's no item that does weight. <sighs> and I shouldn't have said that. Can you name the four styles of Oracorio? <laughs> pom pom. And if you don't know the name of one, I'll allow you to just say like the place that it like originates from. It's electric, oh. psychic, dark, and ghost, right? So there is like there's Ula fire, Ula. Fam. You is missed Ula, fire. Ula one of them. You missed the fire one. Oh, there's Oricorio five of them. Pom Pom, Oricorio Sensei, which is the ghost one. Pom Pom is the electric one. Uh But does the Oracorio ghost do salsa dancing? They all do. Like they all dance. They don't all salsa do salsa dance. dancing. No. They all do dancing. How they all have a you different kind of style <laughs> of dancing. They all do it though. <laughs> they all do dance, yes. But salsa specifically, isn't or isn't Ghost Oratoria salsa, or am I wrong? There's a uh, Ghost is Sensei, is literally Sensei. So like oh, we already have that one. Ghost is Sensei. What's yeah, fire? Yeah, Ghost is Sensei, and uh, the the pom pom is the electric. Fire is Spain. It's actually. doing the, uh, the, the 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 the. I know what the fire one looks like. It has its wings up, like in like like Ole type of thing. Ball ba ballet 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 ball. Bolly? Ballet? No. Mm -mm. I saw- I remember seeing it. Cause I- I like Oricorio. I actually said Oricorio is a new Zapdos in a video before. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to look at- it was obviously clickbait. But like, uh, I had yeah, to yeah. like- I had to look at it. So like, it was like- it was like Bolle, Bolle. And I know the- there's one that's like, the- the hula style. Which is uh- Oricorio- I thought- I thought it was Oricorio Ula Ula. Oricorio La? Either- have to tell us all the names correctly for all of them, or you have to tell us all the regions correctly, like where they come, we come, where they come from. Shoot, that's harder. You can't just say random <laughs> word, mean. random location, random thing. It's just like all of these are completely. You're just describing how they look, basically. It's not that, which is easy, you know. Just so you okay, know. Oricorio pom pom is the electric one. Okay. Oricorio sensei is the ghost one. Oricorio ballet ball, whatever, however you pronounce it, is definitely the uh, fire one, and it's the one that has like the uh, the things up. And the, the, the one that's psychic is the hula dancer that it's like La, Lua, Hawa, whatever it's name It's something like that, Wolf. I know for a fact it's something like that because I, I remember this because I was looking at Oricorio, the new Zapdos. I don't know anything, so you're, you're killing it over there. I couldn't even Help say Help me, please. Dude, I don't, I don't know anything. I, I don't think the letter I have is right. I'm not going to give it to you. You, <laughs> no. didn't, you only said Pom Pom correctly, and while the other ones you said close to the correct, one of them like was not the answer at all. So it's just too, it's too messy, honestly. They were all very close. <laughs> it's baile. 
Oh, fans. and it's called Sensu, not Sensei. It's Sensu, which is the fan that it's using. Um, and then Pom Pom, and then uh, Pow, right? Pa- pow? pow? Yeah, Pow style. Oh. That's Pow. Pow. Yeah. Damn it, I was close. It was like How. <laughs> I put How. <laughs> well, you said, I thought you said Hula in the end, but yeah, this still that doesn't count. This one's near and dear to my heart. There are four Gigantamax forms of Pokemon that have a similar effect. The effect is, uh, after using your Gigantamax move, you inflict a negative condition that if, like, takes away your opponent's health from all of their Pokemon. It's a six of, their, a six of their health each turn for four turns. However, the type of the move, any Pokemon of that type on the opponent's side is immune. Um, what are the four Pokemon that use these moves? Okay, I know Scorch has his thing that like causes like a fire spin kind of thing. I'm going to say Scorch. You're asking for the Pokemon, right? I'm asking for the Pokemon. You okay. don't need to name the moves. Scorch is one of them. I mean, we just have to think... Like, we know all the Gigantamax forms, right, Loxton? I mean, eventually we... Yeah, we like, I, I know which one's Gigantamax, but... Yeah, definitely. The specific... The effects of their moves, I'll have to think about. Yeah, exactly. I don't... Does Sen- Garboders do, like, that poison damage over time? That's a good answer. I'll, I'll, we'll put, I'll write down Garboder. And there's Sandaconda. Maybe it has like some kind of sand. Oh, Sandaconda does. does um, it creates a sandstorm, which would damage HP. Um, Grimmsnarl does a Grimmsnarl. I think it just puts them to sleep. Like it makes them put put them to sleep and take. Nah, that's too OP. <laughs> um, Corviknight has those like feathers that it shoots out. Doesn't it have like those spiky things? Yeah. Does it like continually shoot those? They're like drones. Wait. So now, like, here's the problem. So, like, for example. We don't know if it's like, for example, does Lapras cause a blizzard or something that is like is like a blizzard that that chips damage, you know, that takes away damage every turn. Oh, that's true. That's I think problem. I think Sandaconda doesn't have to activate the attack. I think it just creates a sandstorm when it exactly. comes out. Exactly. That's what we don't know. So, right. Uh, Gengar. Oh, wait. So you know how like his signature move swallows you? That could yeah. be like oh, every turn you get like, nah. I don't know what, you, what would swallowing give you every turn. Indigestion. <laughs> 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 Definitely. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we're going to say Santa Scorch, Garboder, mm-hmm. Sandaconda, and Corviknight. Okay, cool. Um, you actually got zero for four, but I appreciate the effort. Oh. <laughs> wow! Um, oh. Uh, the effect that I'm talking about is not anything that does damage. Like, Santa Scorch gives you um, Fire Spin, for example. And, so that's the um, problem, though. So we don't know. I thought like it just gives you something like Fire Spin. It doesn't say like mm-hmm. an actual formal Fire Spin. No, this is like a. It's the the the, the, f- the answer is it's the three Kanto starters: Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise using G Max Wildfire, G Max uh, Vine Lash, and G Max Cannonade, and then Colossal, who is G Max Vocalith. Um, the way the effect works is it's like a field condition on your side of the field. So if you use said Scorch's G Max Fire move, then like it, you affect like Fire Spin on some of your opponents. But if those Pokemon get knocked out and they bring in new Pokemon, then um, the Fire Spin effect is gone. Whereas with this, if you use the move even once. That's an effect that's onto their side of the field that can't be removed, except for, like, gotcha. change injuries for four turns. Um, I, I gave you a little hint, because I said it's near and dear to my heart, and Colossal is one of my <laughs> oh. favorite Pokemon. I won um, the Players' Cup with it recently, and so, um, yeah, not a huge hint, of course. I didn't expect you guys to, you know, <laughs> to read too much into it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's the three um, Kanto starters, and then also Colossal. I didn't know any of that, so yeah. I'm not <laughs> feeling bad. Can you name all four Pokemon lines with Pokeball designs? Voltorb, them. Mungus, um... What else is Pokeballs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Fungus Voltorb one for sure. Yeah. This is really good. Uh, Jigglypuff on its back. Uh, <laughs> there somewhere. So it's red, Pokemon with red and white on them, primarily. Um, the issue is, like, they're not good with colors. You don't count Braviary, right? It's, no. It's no, it's America. red, white, and blue. It's not Pokeball. Murka. Murka. Um... We count golem. It looks golem. like a pokeball. No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a heavy ball. No, you mean specifically original pokeball, not any pokeball, yeah. right? No. Is there a Pokemon with like an ultra ball or master ball? That'd be cool. No, it's not. Um, Salamence is great ball colors, but yeah, true, yeah. true. Dog, my brain is just not working today. I'm Dude, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to think. Like, like what Pokemon has pokeballs on it? Wait. No, they're like I was thinking about belts and like Machoke wears a belt, but it's not a pokeball belt. It's like a wrestling belt. No, he has a P. He has a PDF for Poke. Just a little ball. I actually um, didn't know that. <laughs> there's definitely something in a Moongus. I mean, in, in Generations, in Alola. There's definitely something in Alola. Minior. Magirna. Magirna. Magirna's a Pokeball. Oh, Pavilion. 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 Pavilion might be a Pokeball, and Magirna's definitely a Pokeball. They oh, literally okay. have Magirna Magirna's Original, Magirna. which is a Pokeball. Yeah, well, Pavilion definitely has Pokeball pattern. Let's freaking do it. That's it. Those All right, we're done. 
Yeah. Just one. That is correct. And yeah, I actually forgot four. about Pavilion. Exactly. We forgot about Let's Pavilion. Let's go! <laughs> Wait, which one did we forget about? Um, Galarian Stuntfisk. Oh, I was never getting that. Oh, look at the little Pokeball in his mouth. Oh, yeah, his little nose. And that's why it's in the too easy, because we forgot Pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's good job. Yeah. Name ten things Defog clears away. <laughs> ten things? What do they even mean? <laughs> Yep. Then ten things ten that Defog types gets rid of. Things, to be clear, I, it's I ten wouldn't have total. Ten, like, four things. of them are like entry hazards. You're saying. That's the name. Ten there things that Defog clears away. Okay. You answered a bunch of stuff, and Wolf even gave some hints before about things. So that's why the number the number was way lower before, but I made it higher. So okay, so we're gonna say toxic spikes, spikes, stealth rock, sticky web. I'm counting steel, 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 steel strike, steel spikes, whatever they're called. Yeah. So okay, entry. So those are the five entry hazards that we have. Then we have what? Like, Defog probably gets rid of all the weather. No. Yeah, that would make sense. What's the move that makes fog then? Mist? Fog. Is it fog? I've never. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm something just... that would defog would get rid of fog. <laughs> why, was okay, I think, uh, why was the thing that defog makes fog for some reason? I'll just, I'll, just give, I'll just stop you guys right there. There's no move that makes fog. Defog yeah, was fog just there is just because of the Psyduck, remember? Insulation? Yeah, that's why I'm insulation. putting it together. There's no fog. I've always wanted fog. But there's no fog. <laughs> there is no fog. It's a lie. There isn't any. It doesn't take away terrain. Uh, does it make sense that defog takes away rain? I've never seen that. I assume it would get rid of all weather In because it's like clearing magic stuff. Yeah. Rain. Sandstorm, rain, hail. Uh, what are those like safeguard things? Those moves oh, that. Does defog take Cause away. Because that's a. That's a battlefield effect. That's just. Safeguard? Sunny day. That, why would Defog take away something that's so weird? That's true. Well, how many, like, light screen kind of things are there? Why can't I think of that? I, I said, I said mist earlier, and... Oh, mist! mist. De Defog clearing away mist would make sense. Yeah, okay, so those are five. The five hazards, then mist, sandstorm, rain, hail, and safeguard. Confirm? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I asked you for ten is because Wolfie said it earlier about Corviknight that Defog does get rid of terrain. So, <laughs> you would have... Four terrain and five hazards already, so you would actually only need one answer for this question that wasn't already given to you or that you didn't know. So you have seven answers there that are correct, which are the five hazard, mist, and safeguard. It does not get rid of weather. Uh, it gets uh -huh. rid of terrain, like I said. It gets rid of um, screens, reflect, screens, light screen, light screen and reflect, and a roll. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you caught what Wolf said before, you only needed one answer. He said and, and that. <laughs> he said Corviknight's G Max move defogs away terrain. Uh, I think I said defog. I think he just said defog, and I just didn't know what defog was. <laughs> he, said, he said terrain, though. He did really? say terrain, though. I don't think I said terrain. Whatever, maybe. I did. Maybe. You did. I, I'm just gonna just say that I did check remember box, defog, but I remember him saying terrain. So, whatever. All right. I, I know he said it because I specifically hit up Wolf and I was like, bro, I was gonna use that for my next question. Oh, I, really? I just asked you, I think I just asked if it had a defog effect. I don't think I mentioned terrain. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, be, it used to get rid of only your hazards, which is funny. Like the ones that you uh, set, set up. up. That's weird. Learning! Uh, name a non-legendary, non-ghost type Pokemon that can become completely invisible. Kecleon? Yeah. Seen it become invisible? I mean, I have to use a silk spell to look at it. I, mean, I guess it depends on how- yeah, I guess in the game it's invisible, right? We can't see it. So I actually was playing Emerald today and I ran into a Kecleon and it said something invisible is blocking your path. The other one is, uh, that water type that becomes invisible in the water. It, it did a lot in Gen 1. Sombol okay, you say completely invisible. Does that mean it's not Kecleon because Kecleon's little stripe thing shows up? I know this is a trick question, Wolf. Because Kecleon's stripe definitely shows up, but in the game it's invisible, though. In the game it's invisible, and they went Pokedex, which means they read the game and play the game. So we will argue. But for we're this also way. very lore focused. This is uh, the there's lore a Pokemon side. that becomes invisible in the water. It's a water type, Wolf. Tentacruel. Uh, I, I can't. I don't remember if it's Tentacruel, <laughs> uh, Horsey. Uh, might be Tentacruel. No, I feel like we have to go Kecleon. I ain't seen that thing ever. Oh, it's uh the, the freaking the the, the 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 there's all the, doesn't the starter from this generation as well go invisible in the water? I said Sobble. I said Sobble. Yeah, let's go Sobble. Let's just say Sobble. Wait, like, Sobble over Kecleon? You like Sobble more than Kecleon? Because they said completely, and Kecleon every single time it went invisible in the anime, it you can see its stripe. Anime. Well, in the, in the game it's invisible, but. The game explicitly calls it invisible, but I guess if you want to do Sobble, that's fine too. Let's just do Sobble. It was definitely visible in like the trailer, you know? It was. Like, Alright, I guess we're saying Sobble, but I, I feel like it should be Kecleon. It was also, there was also one like Gen 1 and 2 that went invisible in the water as well. 
I swear it was Starmie as well, but yeah, we'll do Sobble. Sobble. I think all of our... Sobble is correct. Was Kecleon correct? Vaporeon would also be correct. Ah, That's Vaporeon. the one Gen 1 Mon I was thinking of, yeah. Uh, Kecleon's stripe does not turn invisible. Mad. But it does in, in, in the, the in the game. overworld of the game because they didn't want to like, separate the stripe sprite. That would be annoying too. And yeah, Vaporeon is only able to go completely invisible in the water, mm. but then Sobble is just able to just do it whenever. As long as it's touching nice. water, but its own tears count as that. So. <laughs> wow. How many turns does it take to get KO'd by Parish Song? Oh. Ooh, it's th three or four. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's definitely not three. Wait, this is gonna be another one where does it count the one that it used? Like, use the move? That's gonna be so annoying. Uh, but I'm gonna. I think it's five, honestly. Which is like, like five, but it counts the one that it's on, so it's kind of sort of functionally four. No, it's like no, it's four, but it's four, it's four, honestly, because it's always like a. No, it's five. Schnitzel. You will faint in four turns! Exclamation point. I'd be all right going along with you, with five. Yeah, but I, uh, think I messed up the last one. <laughs> I'm leaning a bit more towards four, but. I've been wrong plenty of times. Why am I thinking four then? Why does it sound right, but I'm saying five? Like, ugh. Again, I'm sorry to the audience that all of us just uh, it's just us thinking. <laughs> um, bum, 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 bum. Between two numbers. <laughs> I just see in my in my gut. I see just a pixelated four with a Lapras. Oh, wait, four is the Japanese number of death, isn't it? Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking like weird vibes coming from the number four, and then yeah, because it's it's uh, it's sort of like the Japanese thirteen. It's like death and spooky and all that. But let's do yeah, let's do four. I guess we'll do four. Lock is gonna be five. <laughs> Lock and four. Lock that's and four. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 I, I thought that maybe you'd go the other way because when you use Parish Song, it's, it puts a three-turn timer on everybody, but it's three, then two, then one, then zero, and you faint when it gets zero. Ah. So it's like so it's between three and zero, so it's four. But um, yeah, yeah, you're correct with four. I was also th no, I definitely remember like quarter, like the I'm also thinking what's it called, the uh, curse. <laughs> but I guess mm -hmm. maybe they do that on purpose, like four stuff for like you know death. Four is death. Mm -hmm. It's that a spooky sense. number. Okay, cool. That's all locks in for, remember, for justifying it for. What is Lorantis supposed to be? And you have to be very specific. I mean, it has Antis in its name. I, mean, it's, I thought it was a praying mantis, but apparently not, because it had to be very specific. I think oh, yeah. if Lorantis was a praying mantis, it'd be a bug type. So it, it is a bug type. No, it's not. It's a grass type? It's grass. Not grass bug? Are you sure? It's not. It's, I'm 100% sure it's grass. I'm 100% sure it's grass. Oh, wait, you're not allowed to check. Just making sure. <laughs> I'm checking. I mean, wait, is it really not bug type? It's you pure grass? It's grass. It's not a lot of grass. It's pure grass. I have no idea, dog. It's like a lunar mantis. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a grass type, dude. It has to be like a flower. Like, it uses the sun for chlorophyll and stuff like that in the game. It's definitely Hey, a was, it, was it the original Solar Blade one? Yeah, so it's, 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 it's a flower. Based on a flower. Okay. What kind of flower? <laughs> yeah, mm, you're gonna have to be very specific, like I said. You can't just say, like, flowers. Joe, we're not gonna get this. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's... <sighs> Lunar Mantis, final answer. You basically just have to tell me what the concept of Lorantis is, basically. It's for sure a flower. It's it's some it's some type of flower in a garden, like a tulip or a... a, a, a no, it's it's a bug that was transformed into a flower, and is ha in order to return to its original form, it has to travel through gardens across the world and collect, <laughs> um... Different petals, and it uses the petals and it puts it behind its like little folds, and that's its mission. And it, and the sun it goes faster. <laughs> and that's its mission. Wait, its ability is contrary in what leaf guard? Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's 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 legitimately like like wolf set or like a, a daffodil tulip flower. Oh no! I can't believe we're looking at a bug Pokemon and saying it's not a bug. It's not. It's not a bug. Mind. It's not a bug, dude. It's definitely it's, it's, it's definitely based on a flower. And they just named it after a bug, which is weird. But it oh, has like, to be like a. If you say a specific flower, I'll, I'll give it to you. Alright, tiger lily. Tiger lilies, orchids, tulips, daffodils. What and else? You have to lock, no, you have to lock in a specific flower. Just, pick, just pick one flower. from what I said. Well, orchid. We're locking an orchid. Okay, lock an orchid. Oh, sh you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the um, world chip difference. Oh, I the world chip. in. This was a, like a last minute change because that was I wasn't allowed to give you the thing. Do you think he, it literally is an orchid? Uh, yeah, I'd say so because uh, I'll let you explain the main idea. But yes, I, I oh, take yeah. that. 
So in real life, we have orchid mantises, which, which are mantises that disguise themselves as orchids. But Lorantis oh. is the opposite, an orchid that disguises itself as a mantis. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'll give it. I said so, and that uh, means I He's give it. He's <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Name one way Rapid Spin was buffed this generation. Is it a, it's, it's not that it's a priority move, is it? I All I know, know is every single time it happens, it happens first. <laughs> that might just be because rapid fast Pokemon Pokemon know it, though. Is Forge's fast? Oh, that's true. I don't think Forge is fast. Might just be... We know what that How strong it is. <laughs> That's the, that's the simplest Ooh, way to I buff. I think it is! No, no, I do remember being like weirded out by like a really weak move, and it wasn't Leech Life, that was last last generation. Was it Leech Life? Whatever, who cares? It. I remember I think seeing Rapid Spin, I'm like, wait a minute. It's like 80 now. Or, it's not that, no, that's Leech Life. It's like 40 now or something like that. Whatever, I think, yeah, power. Do you want to say power? I was, uh, yeah, that doesn't confident to me. It, uh, when I was doing a stream with Dobbs, he used it to one shot like all of my guys. <laughs> Because 20 seems too easy, I mean too too little, and they would buff it. Okay, we're gonna say power. That's correct. Yep. Yes! 50 cool. It went from 20 to 50 base power, and it also raises your speed by one when you go for it. If you were looking at all of the Reggies, how many eyes would be looking back at you? <laughs> That's, a good That's not too Reggie gets a 7, right? <gasps> yeah, I know that. Um, I don't <laughs> know what because you'd be right dead. <laughs> I think Lucky is five. Reggie, uh, Reggie Rock is seven for sure. Are seven? Um, oh yeah, Reggie sure. Rock. Is, I which one's the seven. H? They're uh, all Reggie, seven. Reggie Rock has a ladder. Like it's a three on each side and a dot in the middle. They might yeah, all be right seven. That. That's the H. Um. So there's there's five Reggies. Mm -hmm. And then there's Reggie Gigas. So we know Reggie Rock definitely is seven, right? How many? Yeah. What does Reggie Steel's pattern look like again? Is it like a Reggie Steel is like the 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 circles. It's like a, like a stepping pattern. I'm pretty sure they all have seven, dude. Because I remember yeah. seven on two of them. You want to just do seven times... How many Regis are there? Six? There's six Regis, but does Gigas have also seven? Because it would make sense for Gigas to be different, right? I think Reggie Gigas has seven because he created them all. Wait, but what does he look like? He has like... He definitely has... He like has... Eyes. Reggie Gigas has the, uh, the, the yellow in front of him. I actually just fought a Reggie Gigas today on Showdown. Literally today. So it has uh -huh. the uh, the yellow in front of him. It's like a video blender recorded. There's a yellow in front of him, and the eyes are on that. I'm pretty sure it's seven on all of them. I think it's just. What are his like side things? You know, he has like his mossy arms, and then he has like the yeah. dots in his yeah, arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has like the crush grip thing. So it's just seven times six. Wait, um, wait. I don't think. I think he might have eight because if he he has like three on each side and two in the center, right? It's definitely symmetrical. It's go. It goes he, down. It goes down his pattern. It goes down. It literally goes straight down him, and then there's two on the side. I think. There's, he has eyes on his front, right? He has front eyes, right? Yeah, unless he's like Barbarical, who has eyes on his foot, and that counts as <laughs> no, a gray again. No, there's two eyes. Like last time. But that I'm, leaves an I'm, odd number, you see I'm what I'm saying? I'm like really confident, dude, it's gonna be, the answer's gonna be 42. It's gonna be, it's gonna be 43. Isn't it seven times, it's seven times six, right? Which is 42. Reggie Gigas does not have an odd number of eyes, right? Think about it. He has two on his, he has two on his eyeballs, and then he has three on each side, right? Well, wait. Reggie Gigas has more eyeballs? What? Isn't it? It's just. It's just. The, it's just the dots, isn't it? Is just it literally the dots. the dots? Oh, are they just dots? They're not eyes. The stuff on him. The stuff on him are not eyes, are they? How many eyes are looking back at you? Oh. Apparently, the dots are eyes. The dots Wait, are the eyes. Dots? Yeah, but the dots have eyes. But like, I know Regicus has like the three layers of like random colors as well. Wolf. Loxon, uh, that's no. not what we're talking about, right? Okay, also, awesome. no. dude, it's, it's seven times six, bro. It's it's forty-two. All right, forty-two. I'm good. I'm down. That is correct. Yeah! Wow. Every there. Reggie has seven eyes. The uh, six other things on Reggie Gigas are just crystals that it has in its body. That's dumb. Reggie Gigas transforms. <laughs> Wait, aren't they crystals of like Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and. Yeah, the are original they? three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's so cool. I, I, maybe on his backside, just nobody ever looked, or like behind the moss, he had like Reggie Lucky <laughs> and Reggie Drago. <laughs> like, so I asked, hmm. I asked like half a dozen people this question, and you are the first people to get it right. <laughs> It's like Reggie. Yeah. Or is that the one that's it has an H. One of them makes yeah. an H. <laughs> <laughs> Name three starter Pokemon that have at some point been considered good in VGC. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like that one. I could have asked for like 10. I so mean, like, Incineroar. Yeah. Okay. I, I, think, boom. I think Incineroar is one. Yeah, I mean, well, that's definitely for now an honorable mention, but it could be it. I mean, it's definitely the best of the three. I know that for sure. In terms of. Uh, and what well, people are using it now, though, I think, too, also in VGC. I don't know. Whatever. Incineroar, I'll, I'll write that down. I think people are using right now, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rillaboom with the Grassy Glide and all that. 
Well, Charizard was with his Mega, no? Blaziken was there. Blaziken's like an Uber or something like that. Sorry, to be clear, I'm talking about VGC specifically, not... So not, not yeah, but whatever, it usually translates sometimes. Although, yeah, Blaziken wasn't, I don't think, Blaziken was may have just been, like, a uh, Smogon. Charizard was VGC. I remember seeing Charizard all the time. Say your favorite, Owen. Ron. Say your favorite starter. I'm not gonna say Sceptile, because people are like, no, there's these weeks sometimes. That's... Um... Yeah, Sceptile's horrible. Well, remember what Karen said? Then we have the Sinnoh ones. I don't, I don't remember the Sinnoh ones being ever a thing in my mind. Unival ones. I mean, Superior, like, with his, like, Contrary, I feel like that was probably a thing. Oh, Greninja! Nah. <laughs> you sounded Why so excited. Why am I excited? saying no for Greninja? Because it is Greninja, but again, that may be just be, a uh, <clears throat> Smogon. But I'm gonna write Greninja on a I'm mention. Pretty, I'm super yeah. confident in Incineroar. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'll say, yeah, Incineroar, I'm saying like actual using DGC it for graphics. like, an extra gen or two. So you want to say Incineroar, Real Bloom, and Charizard, and, not, and leave out Superior or Greninja? Yeah, I'd be confident in that. Yeah, that works. Um, nice. I would have accepted Venusaur. I wouldn't have accepted any Johto. You could maybe argue Swampert, maybe Blaziken. Those are like iffy. Maybe Infernape, you could argue. Um, Gen 5, I would have taken Embor. Um, really? Yeah, I, I, I won regionals and almost and uh, Top Cut Worlds with Embor. Uh, Superior, I would have taken. Not Samurott, really. Um, that much. Gen 6 right. were all bad. I wouldn't have really. Like, Greninja, I would have been really hesitant to take because it was never really that good. Um, and then all of, uh, Gen 7 and Sinora Primarina would have, I would have, uh, taken in. Oh, yeah, I did see Primarina. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Gen 8 is, what's it, what are our current starters? Uh, yeah, I would have taken Cinderace as well. Actually, Intellium, Cinderace, and, and Rillaboom were all good at some point this year, so I wouldn't have yeah. accepted any of those. So you had a, you had a lot. You yeah, exactly, them. like, I, it wasn't a, Yeah, yeah as long as you didn't say, like, Meganium, Sam. Yeah, uh, Jota would have, you were doomed. <laughs> like, if you said Jota, you were doomed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. I'm always, I love when it's like that close. And I guess we, we won this one and you guys won last one. So, I mean, hey, if you guys enjoyed the, both of them and you want one more, let us know. But right now, I am very satisfied with this series. You guys are the perfect bunch. Thank you guys for coming on. Um, again, their channels are in the description. Uh, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for having us. us. Appreciate it. It's yeah. fun. And with that being said, Bye, get out of here. <laughs>